Okay, this is part two of the eight week review in the fig greenhouse. We, uh, part one we done from here over. Next part we're going to do from here over. We're going to look at some in-ground trees and some potted trees and we'll see how far along they are after eight weeks here in zone seven with no heat. If you didn't see the first episode, go back and watch the first half of it. I just didn't want it to get too long. Boring. So, here we go. This first tree we're going to look at now is going to be Green Mitskarenska. Don't see anything. Get on down here to some of this older. You can see this is the one that died back a little bit. This thing usually fruits pretty heavy. Yeah, there we go. You can see that one right there. Yeah. Starting to see some in here. There's one. Yeah, green miscarrence has got all kinds of figs on it. Just got to find it. this bigger stuff. Need to come in here and maybe prune a little bit of it out, but... I believe we're all right. It's getting enough. I, it's, I mean, you can see it's getting enough sunlight. Now, I do need to get in here and prune some of this lower stuff out so we can get some sunlight down in there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is do some tip cuttings. I can do about 10 or 12 tip cuttings and just prune the rest of it off. And we'll, we'll do some of that later on. Alright, oh yeah, look on out here. More green Mitskarenska. This is a really good little red fig. And it's not an Adriatic type. It is different. We'll do a comparison. It's very different. Next one. This is one I planted last year. You can see where I cut it back. This is Negra Diogde. Looks like, looks, maybe, I don't know. I know we need to thin some of this stuff out of here, though. No point in having all that. All right, the rest of that can cook. Need to probably come in here and just whack it off right there and let that upper half grow. And, and you've got this one to grow that way and this one to grow that way. We'll go ahead and let that one grow out. The makings of a low cordon, this is the beginning. Uh, I recommend when you do anything like what I'm doing here that you might be better off. I, we're trying it, but I think in the long run you're going to be better off to just rejuvenate prune your tree the first trip out. This is Maltese Beauty. And that is called a Dom Nore. Oh, no it ain't. That is called a Dom Blanca Negra. Don't see nothing on it yet. Got a little shoot down here lower, but I should have just rejuvenated it completely, but because of that big spot. But I don't know. I well, there we go. It, it's still alive, and that ain't went no further. Uh, I really think this white four and one is better than the other colors. It just seems like it does better. It covers better. Next one, Bass's favorite. Nah, nah, it looks like that definitely looks like I mean Looks like a fig to me Looks like it's gonna have quite a few figs on it Bass's favorite I planted it last year. I pruned it most of the way back. I Probably ought to be pulling this one over here pretty soon like that But I wanted to grow out there to that stake and then probably get this lower branch here and bring it that way. Probably about time to be doing them things, getting them over there. Uh, and that'll be another video. And then after I do that, I'll prune some of that back. We're gonna let this grow a little bit and see what it does. Might be better off take this other one, shoot here and just bring it this way. Bring this one and this one this way. And at the end of the season, You'll have a new tree, and you can 
rejuvenate prune this and you got cuttings lots of cuttings and this new wood will fruit the second year you'll still have your apical buds that's probably the best way to do that uh, I don't know some of this is still just a learning process so we're both learning as we go all right this is sapphire 4 it's a big dark honey thick and I got a few off of it last year for the first time and they were actually pretty good but look at the size of that brebble I mean you can see it's it's definitely a big brebble see if you gotta go there we go. and it is forming main crop you can see lots of main crop in here now this is another one that needs to be rejuvenated after this year and this branch and this branch this one needs to be pushed this way and that one needs to be pulled that way and that's something I'm going to be getting on here pretty quick um, getting them things pulled over there where I can do that and I may try some instead of just using concrete blocks I may try to get me some like tent stakes or something where I can drive them in the ground and tie them down because I may have to do this a couple times through the season uh, we'll see how it goes as we train these things into position but sapphire fours it's got some big knives look at that look at that everybody in my family loves honey figs so including me next one holly dom nori getting some double bumps let's see if we can get on down some of this a little further along a little bit hard to call just yet looks like it's starting to double bump right there And sometimes this bigger, thicker stuff is more likely. It don't, I don't see nothing. I, I'm going to say it's got a few on it. But that nerves looks like it's... Maybe there's something right there. I don't know if we can see it or not. Let me get in there. There we go. Yeah. They're just now double bumping up. That's okay. That's okay because in two more weeks, the three weeks there'll be figs on there before the first of june that gives you plenty of time june july august and then halfway through mid-september that's 105 days that's where they like to ripen is 95 to 105 depending on how much heat you get so all right plenty of time to get a crop get a nice crop out of call the dogs next is the infamous smith in ground as you can see we're going to get back here and look at her in all of her glory she's a big big tree i uh and it got pruned heavy took a lot of apical buds off but i'm seeing double bumps everywhere no doubt about no doubt about it Might even see more progression on this one, because this this one still this branch still had apical. So the ones that seems like they had apical, maybe they're a little further along. This is another one that had an apical bud. But definitely getting lots of the Smith is loading up. The Smith is going to have a lot of figs this year, a lot. Huh. And I'll tell you something. If you ain't had, if you don't own a Smith tree, you better get one because it's easily a top two or three tree for taste. Oh wow, it's just there. All right, the next one, one of my personal favorites, also is Black Mantazina. It's trying possibly, I don't know, I hate to call it yet. This thing likes to grow for a while. 
it seems like yeah I think maybe it's getting there it takes it it's like a hardy Chicago it, it fruits a little bit later than hardy Chicago but not much it just takes it a little bit more time now this is the first year this one's been in ground I put it in last year you can see how far I pruned it and I did leave you can see what's new I left them branches we're about to get this over here like this I don't know I'm hoping to get we'll have a lot of cuttings this year out of this black mantazina can't really say it's got figs on it yet but it's getting there next one is gorgeous oat grease now here's an apical there it is see the see it covered mm. but yeah it's setting fruit setting fruit all over the place we're gonna have a lot of fruit on this tree this year a lot of fruit gorgeous oak grease getting with it see we've got another branch over here it's a big tree all the way back to there it's, it, I mean it's a nine footer all these trees in here are nine foot long or that's what we're looking at all right here's another Mount Etna Norella put it in the ground last year and by the way I really like these bottom waterers I, I think they're the way to go and this already has set fruit without issue all over lots of fruit lots of fruit on Norella really like the bottom water and then I'll do put a little bit on top but I think you just it'll do way better when it gets hot and you can see I kind of mounted that up and I'm using a darker soil uh, this is a bag ground arbor waste uh, and it's got some perlite in it I don't know if I got an empty bag of it in here or not. I don't. It's two dollars and a half a bag for a yard. So that's not too bad. Uh, I just bought two pallets of it. Alright, next one is Turka from Ponce. Uh didn't get much fruit off of this thing last year. Maybe a couple pieces. I gotta get in there and do some staking. See if these big apicals have got anything. No, not yet. I ain't seeing no fruit on this one. That sucks. I have had a few pieces off of it in the past. Got to get this tied down over here like this. Here pretty quick. Get this one off. It's just kind of everywhere right now. It was leaning on the box. All right. Next one is. What is this the coral black got some, getting some fruit on it starting to get there grease day st. Jean I gotta get me another copy of that I really like that pig it's going in the ground this year for sure all right here's this next one this is Iranian candy little iron deficiency maybe I don't know or maybe I got might have, I might have been where I fertilized it and got some fertilizer burn on the leaves when I was watering it because if you notice it ain't like that up here this Iranian candy this thing is it don't look it's got me it ain't got no fruit on it right now but don't worry it'll be one of the first ones that's ready here is black mantisina and you can see in the pot it's start just starting to set there there's one there's one it's just starting to get there so we'll say this one's probably two weeks at least ahead of the in-ground one which I can believe that in that black pot so I'm just hoping that'll start helping especially when I put it in a six inch raised bed 
The next one here is LSU Champagne. It's got a lot of fruit in it. Got a lot of fruit set. All right, what's this next? One? Ain't figured it out yet. Ah, it's another Black Manta Zena. Yeah, starting to get some going here. It doesn't seem to be the most prolific fruiter. While it's good, it just don't put on a tremendous amount of figs yet. About every, I'd say about 70% of the nodes I have figs on. This one here has got quite a bit of fruit on it. What is this? Black Mantazina as well. Yeah, it's fairly progressed in its fruit. So, you know, you just seen three different ones, and they have ones in the pots got fruit. Ha, oh, LSU, Hoyer, Huye, Allie, however you like to say it. I'm an Englishman, so I, I, I'm American. I'll say it the way it looks to me. Hoyer. Another LSU. Hoyer. I got several of these. This is a really good fig. Probably got four, five, six of them. This next one is um, Laterula. It's starting to get some figs on it. There is a rejuvenated, pruned, called it on block. Ain't doing much. I have Gigantina, so we're all right. Here's another black Mantazina. Not quite as far as another one. But yeah, I have quite a few. Duplicates in places. And we got here. Minsk or Ritzka 10. And I, I do, I, I concur that it seems to be very much the same as Floria. It will be right first, as you can see. The amount, and it progresses so fast. I thought about putting it in the ground just to see if it got better flavor in ground than it did in a pot. Be good to know, I mean. All right, all the way down here. See what we got happening down here. This is... Gloria. Yeah, we were just talking about your sister plant up there, Miss Serenica 10. So, like I said, you can see it's coming along. Here's another LSU Hoyer Fouye. It's not quite as far as long. Black Celeste, I rejuvenated it. It's it's trying to wake up. Hope I didn't kill it. It needed rejuvenated pruned. It had a it had a bad place up here in the bark. Yep, that's got a fig on it, and that is Parrot Jaw Ramada Revert. It did not have any stripes on it last year. Ponce Tressa. Ah. Uh, yeah, maybe just starting to get some double bumps next one is honey plum definitely getting some figs on honey plum it drops a little bit but it ripened several and it was good and this next one looking for its name I do not see it but it does have figs Whatever it is. 
we'll, we'll have to figure that out later. Ponta Tressa. Starting to set some figs. As you can see, it ain't been pruned in a while, but it's kind of getting, it's got a bad spot or two. Probably after this season, I'm going to let these three here take over and I'll cut the center out of it. Give it a complete rejuvenation. This is a Mount Etna of unknown origins. I bought it as such. Unknown Mount Etna. This next one is this is Verdone from Mario. It is an Adriatic. It ripens probably a little bit later. Maybe a few days later than uh, white Madeira, but it will dry on the tree in that length of time. This dries real well on the tree. You can see it ain't quite set fruit yet. It is different than JH Adriatic. And then we'll see here in a minute how far along our white Madeira is. I have one in the ground. Here's a hardy Chicago. Uh, Maybe didn't get, get watered good one day. I, I rejuvenated the top off of it. was hoping that something would come out up here. And right there is all I got. But it's starting to get some side on it. So just to go on and grow, I'll cut that off. Next tree is another hardy Chicago. Getting some figs all over the place. Here's a new fresh tree. I'm probably going to prune all this. This is this this tree is eight years old. Uh, this is my very first hardy Chicago tree that I bought. Actually, it's my second one. I killed my first one, uh, and it hadn't been it ain't been pruned back much right there. But yeah, it's got some old wood on it. I like to rejuvenate and prune my trees ever. Four or five years if I can try to grow a new one it just they're healthier they stay healthier this is I don't know it's got things all over it though don't it hmm I guess we'll find out when it ripens because right now I can't tell you what it is. It was in ground at one point. But it's got figs on it. Wise figs. I don't know what it is when it ripens. This next one right here is De La Signora Hiverninka. And it's getting figs and figs and figs and figs. Uh, it fruited pretty good last year. One down here on the end is our Rolla. Just starting to get some double bumps on it. Alright. CDA. Constantine de Algiers. And it is starting to set fruit. Got a lot of growth. Definitely got a lot of growth. It's gonna have a lot of figs on it. This thing on the ground down here. This super low. It's this super jumbo DK. And it is getting there. It's double bumping up. It's a big tree. It'll have quite a bit of fruit on it. Looking forward to it. We got into it with a weed eater. Whack! Cavalry. The next one. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Got fruit. Been waiting for a new shoot to come up down here around the base, some sucker, so I could rejuvenate it, but 
right now I'm not having too good luck with that so may have to pull this one over and say yep I don't know we're gonna have to come we'll have to look this situation over here pretty soon and make a make a call for the longevity of the tree but it's got a lot of fruit on it all right next one this is called a Don Blanca Negra in ground and oh yeah definitely got some double bumps going really like this fig it's probably the earliest of all my call the doms looking forward to that this large monstrosity of a tree is yellow long neck and oh yeah it's coming on the apicals are a little further along but you'll get you will get fruit a couple weeks earlier you can leave apical buds on that's pretty obvious they just fruit faster with apical buds but it'll grow have to grow a bit and it'll set fruit this thing was loaded last year it's going to be loaded again this year a lot of poundage the next one is a Socorro Black this is my B version I got from somebody else I thought was had some different looking leaves on it but it seemed the fruit seemed to be the same but I wanted to do an in ground comparison it's starting to set some fruit getting some double bumps going this, this potted tree sitting here is Ronde Bordeaux. Round of Bordeaux. And you can see it's got plenty of figs on it. I just thought that'd be a good place for it to sit there. I got plenty of room out here in the aisleway for it. It was already sitting there. Thought, well, let's just let it sit there. These other things start getting too big. I'll, I'll move it. I probably better go ahead and move it. Alright, this next one, we're seeing these double bumps coming on. This is a nice sized tree. Back up there where we can see it. There's the base. This is LSU. Nope, nope, I'm sorry. This is Squirrel Black. Another Squirrel Black. This is my other version of it. Different, but I mean... It's got figs all over it. It's going to be a lot of figs on this tree. Lots of figs on this tree. Everywhere a leaf. Everywhere a leaf. A fig. Lots of leaves. Alright. Here's the next one. This thing here is LSU Hollier. Probably need to pull this over here, like this. Get me another block, or just undo that one and move it down here and get this pulled out here so there's more light in there. Uh, we're looking at Hollier, LSU Hollier. Huye, Ollie. It's trying to set some fruit. Got a Breba right there. Getting some double bumps on it here and there. Double bumps on it here and there and everywhere else. These are probably a little bit close. Look, I mean double bumps on it. It's trying to grow double bumps. Now see this one up here that you're looking at. This is a different tree. This here. Yes, white Madeira number one. And it is going to fruit like gangbusters. Look at it. Lot, 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 lots of fruit on 
white Madeira number one. Double bumps everywhere. Whew, wonderful. The going got rejuvenated and it's coming back. This is white Adriatic, Tony's white Adriatic that I got from the Fig Hunter. Ain't doing much. It's kind of slow to get going. Planted it last year. I don't know. We'll see what it does. Montanica the Miner. And it's trying to set fruit. Mmm. No, last row of a lot of figs. Raven to Kelsey. Oh yeah, she's got figs. He's on down through here. Just back here in the back. Love. Love, what do you got going on? Yep, Love's getting some figs on her. Parrot jaw ramada. Can't say if it's a revert. We'll find out. Bought another one. Back here in the back. This is Golden Celeste. Hmm. Can't say that it's doubled up yet. There's another LSU Hollier. This is Tina Pina. It's starting to get some figs on it. I'm going to put it in the ground. A bourgeoisie. Can't really say it's got figs yet. Another raven to Kelsey. No, can't say that it's there. Here's a a white Adriatic from somewhere else. I didn't really think this was white Adriatic. It was good, but it's not white Adriatic. I don't know what it is. This is Bronze de Zaison. Starting to set fruit. Here's one of them that I brought back from nothing. Little bitty piece. Italian Westfield. Was outside and the bones destroyed it. And I saved the little, got a little piece back that was still good material and I got it to take. It's been about two years. It's been slow, but I still got it. Yeah, I'm trying to see what this is back here. Yeah. This is Capal Kurt Negra. It's getting fruit on it. There's another fig going. It's trying to get some fruit. See the tag on that one. It's probably like an LSU purple or something. He's on down through here. Violet set poor. Don't see anything happening on it. A lot of LSU purples back here in the back. They'll get dude, they're getting fruit on them. All over the place. You gotta have all that different stuff. I like them. Lots of different flavors. Another LSU Hollier. We'll get back there. LSU purple, LSU purple, here's LSU red, starting to get some, I need to do a little bit of pruning on it, mm, not sure what that is, it's getting figs on it though. I got a tag somewhere on it. I just don't can't find it at the moment. They're all double, triple marked. There is a, this is LSU Scott's Black. I pruned on it quite a bit this year. It's got a lot of growth, but I'm not real. Oh, look at that. A piece. I better stick that back in there, huh? I didn't realize that's what I'd done. I'd forgot about it. Another LSU purple. That's what that looks like. Yep. LSU purple. Got 
fairly progressed figs on it. I've got several pur uh, LSU purples. Here is a improved Celeste. Here is O'Rourke. This is a, another Rondé Bardot. That one back there is another LSU purple. We got here, this is, this tree here, this is Hunt. White Triana. Starting to put out figs. LSU Tiger back here. That's what that other tree up there was a minute ago. I told you I couldn't find no name on it. That was an LSU tiger. This is, what is this? You see it had a bad spot in it. LSU gold. Start to get some fruit. Here's Roboto. It split a lot last year, I thought. Didn't like that. But I, I'm, I'm not giving up just yet. More old day can never. Reju rejuvenated. It's coming on back. There's another Smith. What this is back here. Naples yellow. Got, yep, it's getting some figs on it. Getting over here. This, these are, that's a violet sapor. This is a sequoia black B version. There's another sequoia black. There's something with a bunch of figs on it. What is that? That's a violet sapor. Sequoia black. Nothing on that one. Yellow long neck. Getting some going on it. Mm. Figure out what this one is. It's got figs on it. Look at there. Hmm. I don't see it. I don't see a name. There's a tag there somewhere though. I'll have to find it later. Out of Chicago. Yeah, whatever this is, it's got some big on it. I don't know. Uh, Hardy Chicago. Either all Hardy Chicago, Black Greeks, Black Greek, Castelliar, say Mount Etna version. Starting to get some things. I really liked this one last year. I thought it was really a little different too, as far as the fruit taste went. Here's Tacoma Violet. Starting to get some figs on it. Getting some shoots going down here. I have to put some air layers on. Malta Black. Really like this one. It's definitely getting figs all over it. It's an older tree. And it ain't been rejuvenated pruned for years. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Alright, ease on down through here and see what else we can find. Fruit on. There's a VDS, Vada de Salis. There's a sultane getting some fruit on it. Another VDS. Petite Negra. I don't know, it should have been done, it had a little thinning done on it. There's a hardy Chicago. And a five that's getting some. Here's another hardy Chicago. 
not quite there. This is a Shia Black AD. It's trying to set some fruit. I ought to just prune some of this stuff growing off of it. It'll do better. But I want to take some tips. This is Nero 600. Seems like the Nero 600s are a little bit further along. Sante Drago died back. There's black Madeira seedling number two. And it is got double bumps. It is setting some fruit. Fioroni de Rugal is setting fruit. This is a really early short season fig, honey fig. It's kind of creamy. You see it, it's, it's definitely got some figs on it. I don't see anything else there. There's a DDS that died back. A lot of day Solis. This is a saltane. I don't really see anything on it. On down through here. New Orleans banana is setting fruit. Another Fioroni de Rugal. Starting to set some fruit. Ida definitely got some fruit. It seems to do pretty good as far as fruiting goes. Here's Jumbo. Has not been a very good fruiter. Although, maybe we're going to get some this year. Sometimes, for some reason, some trees have off years. And that's just all I know about it. Pass, uh, here's a pastel, another pastelier. It's getting fruit set on it. Back here is another pastelier. Got some fruit, getting some fruit set on it. Raja seedling number two. Uh, I don't know. Can't say yes or no. This is another BDS, Blanche de Duzet's on. Got fruit set on it. Here's a blue Celeste. Looks like it's getting some fruit set. Let's get down here. A hurry, Chicago. Cherry pie. Maybe. Maybe, maybe so, maybe so, looking like it. And this last one here, it's obvious, it's got fruit. This is Santa Rosa. Got fruit, fruit, fruit. There it is. That's the whole collection. At eight weeks. You can see what has fruited and what ain't fruited. I tried to cover both. Uh, might have been some there that I didn't get because they were too small or what have you. Uh, as you can see, I definitely have quite a few duplicates. Hey, get lots of figs. Going to have lots of figs this year. For sure going to have lots of figs. So, if any of y'all are Within a driving distance of southern Illinois, I would say by mid-July to the 1st of August, we're going to have an abundance of figs to sell this season. I can't eat them all. We're going to... So if you're interested, get in. Just a quick reminder, this is green Minsker. This is Minskarinska 10. It's just hard to imagine how far the figs are on this. Huh. So yes, get in. We'll get it set up and I'll put out a thing on who wants some figs when we get closer to that. Thanks for watching.